Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. Happy St. Patrick's Day. If you're Irish, here's a pinch for you. Pinch. Um, <laughs> if it's your birthday, we could pull your ears, but Irishmen, they pinch. So, um, come on in, guys. I already have something on the machine that I want to continue to work on. I think I left my scissors in the kitchen. Oh, let me grab my scissors because we need our scissors for what we're doing. Okay, so I started to do a little bit of a, um, a ruffle on my sewing machine and um, I'm still having some issues with my sewing machine. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. It's been, it's been cleaned, it's been oiled, it's been lots of things going on with it. Um, it's still, I don't know, now it looks like, now it looks like the, the tension to the bobbin is off. Um, because it just kind of is like pulling the bobbin nice and weird, I don't know. So maybe I need to stop sewing in zigzag and just start sewing kind of straight and just be done with it. But... Um, so come on in and say hi. We're going to, we're going to work with Bessie for as long. Listen, Bessie, the girls are here for a class. You need to just chill out and we'll work together. <laughs> so hello, hello, welcome. All right. So this morning we've already done one live in which, whew, in which we took, um, an envelope. And we covered it with this really cute bunny material. So hopefully this works. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the yellow. I was hoping for the yellow to stitch nicely on the inside with a nice zigzag backing. Um, and it's just doing, it's doing whatever it wants to. Sometimes it's stitching a nice zigzag and sometimes it's not. So I don't know what the problem is. So we may end up just doing a straight stitch. Um, you're loving the bunny class? I know, right? It was so much fun. Okay, so on my machine, I don't know if you can see, um, I have this, this was a, um, like a table scarf, and I ripped it apart, and i just been doing a ruffle. So what I'm doing for my ruffle is, can you see it? Do you love it? Is I'm just stitching straight down the center, okay? <laughs> Grandma Bessie Walker.
Dang it. I just added it and I pleated it and now we can keep going. So, um, but you can use this along the edge of books, paper, all kinds of fun things. So I, as soon as I finish off the ends here, what we're going to do is I have some Buffalo plaid that I also want to do this with. This one is putting up a fight. You guys, it didn't want to fold. Sometimes the curls on the end make it that it doesn't want to fold up over. You could add little flowers to it, little pieces of, of paper. There's all kinds of things you can do with these to, um, to make them fun. So just use your scissor and that gives a nice like in between. Once it, once that pleat goes underneath the sewing foot, I grab my next one and I pleat the next part and I just push it up and it makes it kind of even. Does it have to be even? No. The helicopters are out. They're searching for the nut job that's loose. <laughs> you love to sew? Yes, right? So I just, honestly, I think the machine is old and wore out. Um, did you know, some of you who are expert sewers, that there's only one way you should turn the wheel on the side of your machine? This I didn't know. I don't know that my mom ever knew that because I never heard my mom say anything like that. And right out the other side. Right out the other side. Whoops, see my bobbin thread broke. So there, look at how nice. Okay, so, so far on sewing this, it was good. But if you can see, like, I don't know when I first started it, the bobbin sewed this beautiful zigzag, but the top thread, it was pulling it up. So I tightened the bobbin tension, which seems to have worked, okay? So now I have this beautiful, lovely ruffle. We can add to the edge of paper, the edge of... Um, book page of of the cover whatever it is that we want to do um we can do that okay let me let me get my bobbin so see what happens is the bobbin thread it's not the regular thread it's the bobbin thread that's breaking okay so there we go and what's happening is see my bobbin when you thread it it comes up through this little like hole here so when it unthreads it comes out of that hole while the thread is nice and long still um, it just, it comes unthreaded. I don't know. Go figure. Doo, 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 doo. Here we go. All right. We're up back up and running, I hope. <laughs> okay. So I have this buffalo plaid that was left from, from cutting off of whatever over there. So we're just going to start with a little fold and we're going to get her going. Okay. And then again, I'm just doing the same thing. Just using my scissor to, to make a pleat. When that pleat hits the, the foot, I make another pleat. And that's how I do it. I don't know. Teeny, is that how you do it? Um, Michelle, I'd like to hear from you guys. Anyone else make these little ruffles and this is how you do it? Now this material is thinner and it's quite, see, it's gonna, it's gonna want, want, they told me once it starts to force, don't force it. But I gotta tell you, it is, this one is stuck, but good. Well, we had a beautiful little ruffle started. <laughs> And again, it all has to do with the bobbin. The bobbin is, ooh, it's, there we go. I was like, it is jammed, but good, you guys. See, nothing came unthreaded. The thread is threaded. That's what I was trying to tell the guy. I'm like, but the thread is threaded. The bobbin is right. The bobbin is wound tight because that's another problem you can have. Yeah, you can add them to the edge of your pages, of your books, all kinds of fun things. And I've loosened my bobbin tension. I've tightened my bobbin tension. I'm I've just I'm at the end of my wits with it because I really I really don't know. I've oiled it. Um I've had I've had the plate off. I dropped oil down in it. Teeny said she would 
meet with me and see, but... Yeah, it's feeding smoothly. Listen, guys, I've been over, like, all of it. And I seriously, I there's nothing that I'm doing wrong. Because I even went over it with the guy who I was doing, who, who did the repair. And he said, no, he said, you're doing everything right. The bobbin was threaded correctly. Like, everything was done correctly. Just for whatever reason. And it almost is like when it stops and starts. That's really... So what I really want to do is get this ruffle done and get this edge if you have issues. Yeah, I did get it serviced, but they said, they honestly, what they said to me, yeah, I re-threaded everything. Um, what they told me is the machine is old and it's quite, they did not find anything like major other than like... They had it apart. They cleaned it. Larry had it apart. He cleaned it. Like, there was all these. Like, seriously. I'm like, I'm... Soon, it will pay me to just buy another machine. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if it keeps costing me money, it's going to be more in my interest to buy a new sewing machine than it is to, um... To keep paying for repairs. Listen, I have a big, long stringer here. <laughs> Let's get that over there. Oh. And again, guys, the machine the machine is old. It's probably like 30 years old or more. I think my mom got it new when I got married, and I'm married 30-some years. So, but like even, like it seems like the bobbin, teeny. It seems like the bobbin is sewing on the top. Do you know what I'm saying? Nope, brand new thread. Bought brand new thread at the Hobby Lobby the other day when it was on sale. I got brand new thread in the machine. And I re-threaded the bobbin. The bobbin is all re-threaded. So, I mean, it's not working that bad, you guys. See, I mean, I had one little snafu. I mean, I could have a brand new machine with a snafu. Right? <laughs> it's not working that bad. You get a lot of exercise doing this, though. Like, I have almost all my steps in for the day. The bobbin is not upside down. Nope. The tension. The tension. I'm not sure about the tension. I have it set, like, two and a half. And if I set it any higher than three, it breaks. It'll break the thread. So... I'll do, uh, next week one day, I'll do a video call with Teeny and I'll be like, all right, what the heck's up with this sewing machine? <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what are some of the things that you can sew for your, for your junk jerk. Okay, so look at, look at how nice that turned out though. See, so I'm like, okay, so the, the black is the bobbin and the yellow is the top. So you can see every so often the bobbin drops a stitch for whatever reason. And it kind of like drops it and loops it. Can you see that? It drops it and loops it. And the top stitch, oh, maybe I have this, oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why it's zigzagging and then straight stitching and zig, because he has it set that way. That's why it's not zigzagging. Duh. <laughs> oh, you guys. Anyways, I was like, look at it. it zigzags and then it's straight stitches. But, you know, that's why it's dropping the loop. Because it doesn't like that stitch where it does a zigzag and then straight, a zigzag and then straight. It doesn't like, my machine doesn't, it never liked that. <laughs> All right. Before I, before I go on to um, doing the next piece of, um, of anything, we're going to do some stitching on to the paper. So I'm going to stick you guys back over here. There we go. Back over there. 
so you can see coming off the machine there. Okay, so different things you can add to your edging is, you know, you can add some of this really pretty like trim work stuff. Um, these you can get at um, Michael's. You can buy them like in bundles. Yeah, it was doing a pattern. I didn't, he must have when it was like testing it and stuff. It was not stitching, it was not stitching zigzag. He had the, can you guys hear that? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. So, um, different trim works. Don't be afraid to try out some different things and stitch them on. If you are not a sewer and you don't like doing the sewing thing, that's okay. Yeah, it does what it wants, Tracy Watkins. You are correct. It's doing whatever it wants. We're going to just take some of this lace and we're going to stitch it right onto this paper. As soon as I find my scissors. All right. Just because I want to make sure it's going to zigzag right. Because I would rather mess up a piece of paper than actually mess up my, um, my cover, right? Okay. So here we go. We're going to go with the lace right along the edge of one of the papers I'm going to sew in. It's like a heck of a lot of a getting used to. Um, um, so it took a bit of getting used to. So it did this kind of thing. Did you hear it like clumping when it did it? And then, um, so when it zigzag sewed, it pulled the bobbin thread to the top. And that's on the paper. So like I said, I would rather have a messed up piece of paper. We can still use it in the journal because some people like that. Some people think that's pretty cool. But we can glue something over the edge or whatever. Let's, um, let's just try, let's try something. Let's try another piece because I want it to, I want it to be right. I'm moving my stitches to like near zero apart. And um, let me grab another piece of the paper this is the paper you get in the kit listen my bobbin my bobbin winds on my machine the bobbin winder is not the problem and it's not the bobbin the bobbin is the right bobbin for for the machine i know you guys are just trying to be helpful um, the bobbin is wound. It's as tight as it's going to go. It's not going any tighter. Um, it's not because some people, they have that problem when you use a bobbin wound, 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 winder, a bobbin wounder, winder. Yeah. You know, the little thing that you can put the bobbins on and it winds your bobbins for you. Um, so there should be a bobbin tension adjustment too. Yep. I did that. I, I tensioned, tensioned it, loosened it. All right, here we go. You guys probably think I'm such a goofball with this kind of thing, but. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I don't belong. Maybe I should stick to the actual paper and not the, <laughs> the sewing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm a, I am a little nervous about putting my book cover on here. I'm just going to put that out there. I am a little nervous about putting the book cover on there until I'm sure that it's going to do my little zigzag back and forth. right up okay I think what I'm gonna do is I think we're just gonna go to a straight stitch I 
because at least with a straight stitch, ugh, it's a mess, you guys. It's such a mess. I quit. I quit. I quit. I don't want to sew my cover. I'm afraid of sewing the cover now. Um, the two threads are, they are the same. They're the same um, Hobby Lobby thread. Um, it should be, this is all purpose. Well, let's just, let's abandon the yellow then. Let's try just doing just black on here. Teeny! Like, it really feels like the tension of my bobbin is way off. Like, when I pull the thread of the bobbin, it's like, oh, jeez. Hold on. I have a stringer caught under there. Um, the bobbin just comes right on... I'm not trying to do this to you I did. Yeah, I tightened the bobbin. There is a screw, and I can tighten it a little more if you guys think that that might be my issue. I can tighten it a little more. There is a little screw tensioner on my... So you guys... Okay, so you guys think... No, it's coming up off of the way it's supposed to. It's not going the wrong direction. Okay, let's put this, <sighs> ah, what's too tight, Michelle, what's too tight, you could see that just from, I'm waiting for Michelle, there is a little screw in my bobbin, see, can you see it there? And I have the little screwdriver thing laying here. Oh, well, I did. Here it is. The little, you know, the little screwdriver that they give you. Yep, I have the sewing unit. If it keeps breaking the bobbin thread, the little screw is too tight on the metal thingy. Okay. So loosen it a little. Got it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Got ya. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Who's ready? Everything's all re-threaded. Okay, see, now my sewing machine needle is not picking up the bobbin thread. What in the heck? I'm telling you what, you guys. <laughs> what a time we're having. Okay. There we go. Put this back on. Nip this off. Okay, now we're back to all the same color. All the same color. Let's just do... 
Um, I'm going to take this off of here anyways. So let me just take that off. And we're just going to try, just go on the paper and see what it looks like. I just went to a straight stitch. zigzag stitch but not if it not if it messes with my uh okay we're good we're good we're good we're good we're going we're going we're going <laughs> come on come on also you know what i forgot to put this back on here that's my thing to keep my thread from flying off of there here we go Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I wanted really to use the yellow on the inside and then the black on the outside. Let me make sure I don't have any thread stuck to this. Uh, but it just isn't going to work out that way. So, I mean, it is, it is what it is. Let's see. We're going down here. There we go. And I'm just following the edge. It, it really likes to do a zigzag, but for whatever reason, something, something in it happened and it just had a fart today and it did whatever it wanted to. So we're just going to do, we're just going to go straight down. doing it even though it's like it's still like dropping a stitch you wish you get <laughs> listen we're doing it we're just going okay sorry sorry if i'm making anybody nervous worst case scenario is i'm gonna have to sit with the seam ripper and rip all the threads out but so far we're doing okay it's camera shy Knock on wood. <laughs> okay, so I still have it set to straight stitch. Hold on. Now I'm going to be standing upside down. Michelle went and jinxed me saying it sounded good. Yeah, it's doing a clunking thing. So, um, like I said, worst case scenario, I have to tear out stitches. The inside looks good. The back side, like which is the outside, kind of did some clunking. But you know what? We'll just... It's, <laughs> you, you spoke to zone. <laughs> you spoke to zone! Um... What I'll do is I'll just I'll just use some glue. It does sound like the bobbin, right? Am I right? It sounds like the bobbin. Let's I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it clinking down there. Oh my goodness. Please don't be a mess underneath there. 
Well, I lost, I lost bobbin. I lost, and it's the front cover too. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna stop, and I'm just gonna tell you, I don't know what's wrong with the damn thing. <laughs> it's pissing me off though. <laughs> So here on the inside, the inside looks good. The inside's looking really good. Um, it was so it was going along and it was sewing and it was sewing and it was sewing and it was sewing and it was sewing. And then Michelle said, Oh, it sounds pretty good. And then it's okay, because I started, where did I start? I started here and I was sewing and it sounded good. It sounded good. I got to hear Michelle goes, Oh, it sounds better. And then clinkity clank. Clinkity clank, clinkity clank. See my bobbin thread? Teeny, do you see it? It's the bobbin thread. It's the bobbin, you guys. I keep saying it and I don't I don't know what to do about it. Like, see, literally the bobbin came unthreaded under there. And see what it did to the thread? Can you guys see what it did to the thread on the thread on the bobbin? got all clunkety clunk. So the only way to fix it is to pull all that loosey goosey stuff off, get it back onto my, my piece here and get it back on there is the only thing I can do because I want to finish the stitching. At least the inside stitching will look good. Oops. The inside stitching will look good. And the outside, we'll just add, we'll do some lace or some trim work with it. I I did. I did tighten, Karen, I did, I tightened it. Get out the stamps and ink. The second one is not going to be sewn. It's just like the first B book. The first B book sewed great. Um, the second B book, I just didn't, I didn't sew on it. <sighs> See? It literally, it lost the bobbin stitch again. I honestly, I quit. Yeah, I re-threaded the whole bobbin. I did the whole thing, and it still it lost the bobbin again. It lost the bobbin. This is under here. See, and the bobbin thread, the bobbin thread. Well, now it's bouncing all over creation. The bobbin thread did come out okay, so I don't know. Because now I have these big long threaders everywhere. Yeah, I did tighten it. Yeah, and I used the bobbin winder on my machine. The metal one was worse. The metal one was like, it was way worse. Like, it was making horrific sounds. Like, like death. Not even joking. There's both of my threads are out there again, you guys. I don't know. This is it. I just want to finish the I just want to finish the inside. Pretty please. Pretty please. Can we finish the inside? I'm gonna call that guy. I'm gonna tell him I want my money back. <laughs> and I'm gonna take him this. I'm gonna say, look it! Look it! <laughs> so I have options. I can tear, I can tear this messy part out. I can leave it as part of it. Um, no, I didn't rethread the top. I don't need the, th the top thread didn't come unthreaded. And it's honest to gosh, you guys, it is the same exact thread on the top and the bottom now. Wait, where am I at? Here. So I just want to finish up a little bit here on the top. see 
I have to re-thread the whole thing. Yeah. I need to throw the thing out in the middle of the driveway out there. <laughs> That's what I need to do. <laughs> okay. You guys, that's what you can sew. <laughs> um, I Now, most likely, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my trim box and see what kind of trim work I have. And I'm just going to do this. We're just going to add a trim. And I'll glue it. When we get back to the other room um, later, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some trim work. And just cover that over. I don't think I have any more of this peach, but that would have been perfect. Um, I have, I have this. You guys, tell me if you think this matches. Does this match? I know the lighting in here isn't the greatest, but I was thinking about using some of this. <laughs> no kidding, because this trim work here would be really pretty. It's going to be like all over the place. It's going to be hanging off the ends and stuff. But um, I have so much like lace trim work that is flat. I have this that's, oh, I have this that's flat. Yeah. The, the problem is, okay, and here's the heartbreak of it. It was my mom's machine. So that's why I really don't want to give up on it. But um, we can go ahead and the inside is stitched very nicely the inside doesn't look bad at all it's just that clumpity part on the outside so i can take some some lace some flat lace and we can just we can just trim it we can out trim it so yeah it can be yep and we're just going to make it pretty so i'm going to show you how you can mess something up and still make it pretty you are going to go to bed you need a nap you need a trip to aunt tt's house <laughs> All right, you guys, it is quarter to 12, right? Almost quarter to 12. Um, I'm going to take a lunch break. I'm going to come back at 1230. And we're just going to be in the craft room and we're going to do... Um, I do have burlap ribbon. I have actually something that's really pretty. It's not out here. Um, I'll pull my trims and stuff out. We'll see what we want to do. It is a little heartbreaking. It's okay. Like I have a, a thousand things that were my mom's and so I'm not going to, I'm not going to weep over a piece of equipment that just is old. And I was going to get rid of it before and I just thought, well, I just keep it. I do. I have a fancy sewing machine, but it is a, it's an expensive machine and it, it embroiders. It does like embroidery, little embroidery flowers, and it does all kinds of trims and things like that. And you just program it and you walk away and it does all that. So I don't want to use it as a regular sewing machine on stuff like this because I don't want to mess it up. So, um, okay. So give me, give me 12, 15, 12, what I say? 1230, 1230. Meet me back here at 1230. I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to set up in back in the craft room. And, um, you know, I don't know. I'm going to maybe call that guy and yell at him. <laughs> I am going to call him and say, what the? This machine. He did tell me that. I mean, he did what he could with it. Okay. And that he said, if it continues to act that way, there's really nothing he can do. So I really do. I do think that. I think it's, it's just, it is what it is. So. I don't know. All right. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to see you at 1230 so I can grab some lunch. And um, I'm going to yell at somebody because I feel like it. Because I didn't really get to do the stitching that I wanted to show you. Um, I did, before I went live, I did get to add some trim work onto the edge of some of the papers. Because see, honestly guys, look at a minute ago it was sewing like this. So I don't know what happened. It was zigzag stitching, sewing. It was doing all the nice things and it was playing nice. And then when I stitched, when I stitched on this piece of paper and it may just been the paper that just messed it up. So it is old, it is temperamental and I should have left well enough alone. So <laughs> anyways, you guys have a good lunch. 
see you at 1230. Remember to always be kind because you never know what someone's going through. And I'll see you soon.